Shalom. First and foremost, I want to say Ka Holayim La Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rakakodash. Double honors and blessings be unto the elder the, the elder apostles of GMS that do real well. Starting off with the apostles tearing them down. The true men of Yahweh Bahashem Al Shai. That's been so like it. That's been pushing this word for thirty plus years and still pushing so to this very day. And it's sincere shalom to you, Ankim out there, that's pushing his truth through the spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh Shemal Shai. Blessings be unto you, brothers out there in your households. And um, I want to title this video, um, uh, Tired of Wickedness, you know. And when I say that, you know, that's, that's exactly what I, what, you know, what, what I mean. And I know, I know, any brother that's part of this truth, you know, worshiping how about Shemal Shai, you know, can agree. Because we are vexed with the free the conversation of the wicked. And as a matter of fact, I'll get that. But before I get that, you know, as you know, living here in this, in this captivity, speaking as a man. All right. This place is fucking hell, man. All right. This place is a, a demonic hamster wheel, man. Excuse me, but call, but call like you have about small shot that, you know, it's going to go down soon. All right. You know, because this place, hey man, it's all matter of satanic acts and demonic things going on in higher places that people don't know about, man. This whole society is fucked up. All right. Everything's completely, completely out of whack, man. And that is why we need a savior. That is why we need Yahweh Shai to rule, man. We, we need Yahweh Shai and the elect. You know, we, we need Yahweh Bashma Shai and the elect to rule, man, for all eternity. Because all this devil, all right, all this devil that, you know, and that, that all he's done is fuck shit up, man. Made it worse. All right. Everything here is upside down and, and cruel, man. That's why we need our Lord and Savior, our King, Yahweh Shai, to come back soon, which he is, all right, and, and, and throw and throw this society down, man. But um, like I said, let me get the scripture real quick. In uh, 2 Peter, all right, this is the book of 2 Peter. Two and verse. I'll start at verse. I start at verse uh, five. Second Peter two and verse five. And it says, And spared not the old world, but saved Noah the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness. Bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. All right. And if you have any knowledge about the account of Noah. All right. He uh, he was a, a, a prophet, man. He said a preacher of righteousness. And, you know, uh, the Lord told him to build an ark because he was going to flood the earth with water. All right. Because you know, I was seeing that, you know, man, you know, uh, was uh, was wicked, man. Mankind was wicked. All right. And I believe it says was that the book of Genesis six, I believe it says that uh, um, it, it was evil. It was, they were evil continually and roughly paraphrasing and it said that and it says that they were wicked. All right. And most I had to destroy that that world with the with the breaking the flood, you know, of water. And it says bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. All right. So the Lord spared Noah and his family, all right, because I believe also it says in the uh, book of Genesis, I believe when I say the same chapter says that, uh, says that uh, Noah, Noah was a just man. And you go into the word just, it means righteous. So in the eyes of Yahweh, all right, Noah was a righteous man, all right, a preacher of righteousness, all right. So the Lord flooded that, that uh, the, the, the days of Noah, 
all right that that world with the water all right saved uh um Noah and his family all right and now that's gonna happen to today in our time when uh Yahweh Bashima Shah is gonna do the same thing, but it's not gonna be with water, it's gonna be with fire. All right, now fire is gonna come in the form of ICBMs, all right, thermonuclear missiles, all right, so because Yahweh made a promise with Noah, made a covenant that he would not flood the earth with the water again, all right, that's why you had the rainbow, that's the covenant. All right, that's why you have the rainbow in the sky. All right, so it's gonna be a flood again, but not with the water. It's gonna be with fire. All right, so let's keep going. A second Peter two and verse six, and it says, <clears throat> "And turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them with an overthrow." Right, and uh, uh, and who was living in Sodom and Gomorrah? Lot. Okay, a righteous man. Okay, and um, and right now we uh in today's captivity, America, this is referred to as a Sodom and Gomorrah on a spiritual level. All right, because the same things that was going on back in the day during the ancient time of that day of Sodom and Gomorrah is going on today. You have, you know, homosexuality, transgenderism. Have the LGBTQ key community, all right. Those you know, you have man on man, woman on woman. You know, those things are happening today that were happening on, happening back in those days during the days of Lot, all right. And it says, condemn them with an overthrow, right? It says, turn to ashes. And what was that? That was the fire and brimstone, all right. And, and like I said, we're living in the uh, the uh, and Simon and Simon and Gomorrah all over again, all right. And just like how the ancient Simon and Gomorrah was destroyed by fire and brimstone, that's how today America, which is spiritually Simon and Gomorrah, is going to be destroyed, all right, by fire and brimstone. But like I said, this this uh this uh fire and brimstone is going to be in the form of thermonuclear missiles, man. All right. It says making them an example unto those that should live. That act it's like it making them an example unto those that after should live ungodly and deliver it just lot. All right, lot was righteous and it delivered just lot, vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked. All right, now when you go into the word filthy, I mean, it's like it when you go into the word conversation, okay, it uh says basically the manner of life, all right. So Lot was vexed with the filthy, in you know, the ways of you know, uh, uh, you know the you know their their uh, their lives, man. They, you know that's that society that he was living in. All right, the way things was, man. All right, seeing those things and hearing about those things and you know uh, uh, being around that shit, man. All right, man, and that's how we feel today. We are tired of wickedness, man. We are tired of of of, of of seeing things that it should be, you know, deemed, you know, wicked, you know, but instead these things that are, that are deemed righteous are fuck. You know, it's like the things that are deemed wicked. It's like the things that are not deemed wicked. <laughs> all right, are are uh, it's uh, shit. Lost my train of thought. The things that are wicked, all right, are deemed righteous. Slakia, all right, and things that are, you know, uh, unrighteous are deemed wicked, man. Okay, Slakia got a little tongue tie right there. All right, and that's how he feel, man. And everybody, you know, you, you know, just just goes along with it, man. Okay, this is complete hell. And people are in so much gross darkness that they don't even, that they don't even realize that they're under a fucking complete spell, man. Everything here is backwards and crooked. It's uh, discombobulated. All right. Verse eight. Uh, and it says, for that righteous man dw dwelling among them and seeing and hearing vex his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds. All right. So it says, so it says, uh, seeing and hearing, man, 
vex Lot's soul from day to day, you know, with their unlawful deeds. And that's right now because, you know, uh, we are, when I say we can talk about the brotherhood, man, you know, we are just tired of uh, hearing and seeing all the wickedness, man. All right. And, and how do we see it? You know, we, we see it going out in public. You may see some nasty stuff going on, man. You know. Shit, 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 you know, shit that you, shit that you want to get out your fucking mind, and, and you know, and, and not even see anymore. All right, and hearing about, and hearing about things, go on social media. You know, you hear about Dwayne's Wade's son. You know, uh, want to be a girl and having his name changed from Zion to Zaya. All right, those things, man. It's, it's got it. It's complete wickedness, man. All right, you seen, man. You seen animals being tortured by Esau, being put in, in bad living conditions. You know, you know this. Even the earth this morning, as it says in the book of Isaiah. All right, this place has got to go because the earth is in the hands of the wicked at the, at this moment in time. All right, but it's been given. Into the hands of the wicked, but soon is gonna be taken from him. All right. <clears throat> now back in the book of uh, let's go to the book of uh, Psalm eighty-two and uh, verse five, and it says, "They know not, neither will they understand." They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. Right, man. Everything here is, is out of course, man. All right. Like I was saying, right. Everything here is upside down, backwards, man. You know, everything here is that that's deemed wicked. All right. Uh, uh, it's, it's, it's righteous. And everything here and everything here that's deemed righteous is wicked. You know. Just like it says in the book of Isaiah 5 and 20, it says, Woe to you who call bitter sweet and sweet bitter. All right? Who call evil good and good evil. And hey, man, this is a, this is a, this is the worst captivity, man. Because it's not physical, it's mental. And our people don't even know that they're, first off, they don't know, you know, who their power is. Who the power source is, which is how about Shmuel Shai? They don't know that they're Israelites. They don't know who their enemy is, who who is Esau, Edom, and the rest of the uh, 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 heathen nations. Okay, they don't even know that they're in slavery, man, captivity. They think this is it. All right, our people think that you know living here is to get a nine to five and and work for the rest of their lives and just be stuck like that, man. Okay, now of course you got to be a man and take care of your family, handle your business, while the time that we're in this captivity, because you're not gonna be in this captivity for you know any much longer. But our people, our people, our two thirds of the nation of Israel, have that that uh that stuck mindset of staying here, man. Just like how they was uh back in the wilderness, how they was chiding against Moses, saying that they should have stayed in Egypt. All right. And if you go into the word chiding, it means complaining. So, so he, they were complaining about Moses. I mean, excuse me, towards Moses about leaving Egypt, man. Well, at, well, after you uh, seen a great miracle, all uh, right, and and, and 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 was delivered from you uh, from the Egyptians, uh, right by Yahweh by Shmuel through the hand by the, through the hand of Moses. Okay. And that's why our people got to go two thirds, of course, you know, on this side, because, you know, uh, because they're not going to take heed to the word of Yahweh about Shema Shai. They don't care about the wickedness that's going on. They don't care about Yahweh about Shema Shai and his men. They, they want to continue to to uh, to prosper in captivity. You know, they want you know they want to get their piece of the uh, uh, of the the uh, the pie. All right. They they don't they don't they don't care if they're oppressed or not you know as long as they're 
you know, so-called getting theirs and getting by, you know, and, and not serving the Lord. See, man, that, that's selfish, man. And that's why they got to go. All right. They're not crying out, you know, uh, you know, towards you by Shemar Shai, you know, by seeing and hearing all this fucking wickedness going on in America and all over the, the places of the earth. Who is doing that, man? I'm right. The hopeful elect, man. House of David. The servants and prophets of Yahweh by Shemar Shai. Those are the men that's doing that. All right. Because they have the because they would have the. They they have they had they uh they've been given the spirit to be to be awoken to to realize that man to, to see what's going on and to realize that they're in hell, all right, and, and and they've been rendered active, all right, to push his word, okay. This uh Psalms uh ninety four and verse sixteen, and it says. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Right, man. Those are two questions. All right. Who is the only ones that stand up for Yahweh by Shmau Shai? Who is the only ones proclaiming, all right, who they are, all right, proclaiming the wickedness, I mean, excuse me, and and and, uh, and exposing, all right, uh, uh, these elites are here, man, and, it's, and exposing uh, Esau. Who's doing that? All right, the prophets, man, the hopeful elect. All right, only these men are, are out here in the highways and byways, doing lessons, and whatnot, doing sit downs, going to camp. All right, and and basically calling out, you know, uh, basically I want to call them out, you know, I'm gonna say making Esau bear, you know, and, and you know stand up for Yahweh by Shmuel Shai and and and, and calling and and uh and um. Exposing, you know, these devils, man. All right. Stand up for Yahweh by Shai and, 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 pro and proclaiming the truth, man. Because you live in a world filled with lies. Somebody got to do it. Hey, but that's why Yahweh by Shai said, I would, uh, uh, surely the Lord of power will, will do nothing but give a secret to the servants of the prophets. All right. Yahweh by Shai uses men. To put forth this word. And his word is spreading like wildfire and is getting out. Alright. And through this word, that's how everybody is uh waking up. I, you know, that's how Jake's waking up right here, man. And how the elect is gonna is being sued. Alright. This is the book of Ezekiel chapter 9 and verse 4. And it says, and The Lord Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. All right, now you go into the word mark. All right. It means uh, the wa, all right, in Hebrew. In a word, the wa means to be exempt for judgment, okay, because the elect, they've been set up to be special spirits to be uh, delivered in these last days and to be uh, excluded from the Lord's judgment, okay? And those men, uh, you know, ultimately uh, uh, have that mark, or no, that spiritual mark on them, all right, to be redeemed. Okay, and these are the men that sign that cry for everything that's for everything that's done in, 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 their, in their captivity, you know, whether they be in America or London or wherever. All right, because you're going to have men not only being beamed up from America, you know, but being beamed up from, you know, uh, London, Canada, Suriname, Mexico. All right. It says in the book of Matthew 24 and verse 31, it says that uh, the Lord is going to send his angels to, to deliver his men from the four corners of the earth, roughly paraphrasing. And what does that mean? That means from wherever they may be scattered at. All right. But as long as you push this word in the, in the true, you know, the true doctrine and the true name of Yahweh Shmuel Shai. All right. And you and you stand up for, for what's right. 
I'm right through you how about Shmar Shai, you know, and you endure to the very, very end. Hey, man, the Lord got you, man. All right, just hold, hold fast what you have, man, and have hardcore faith. All right, because we are in the end, man. All right, and this place is going to go down, thus said the Holy Bible. Okay. So let's read it one more time. Ezekiel 9 and verse 4, and it says, And the Lord Yahweh by Shema Shai, Shai said, Go unto him, said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry, for all the abominations that be done in the midst of rough. Right, but these men right now are signing crying. All right, you know, through their lessons, through their their uh, their, their live camps. All right, because this, you no, know, because these times and our, and our live videos and our sit downs, our camps, these are the times when we can, you know, righteously vent, you know, because when we're out of the broad gate, we can't put in the garment at work in public and, you know what I mean, and start preaching out of nowhere. Now I got to be the right time, the right moment. And where's that at? There was by uh, a sit down or I camp. All right. There's a time and place for everything. All right. And, what, and while we're at camp and doing our sit downs and our, our lessons, we're uh, uh, signing crying unto Yahweh by Shmau Shai. All right. And not only doing that, we're also sending up curses and, and praying unto Yahweh by Shmau Shai to, to deliver us, man, to send Yahweh Shai and seal the elect, man. All right. And bring forth the, our, our kingdom. Because this shit is complete hell, man. All right. That's okay because this place is going to be destroyed by Yahweh by Shmau Shai in no time. All right. This is Isaiah 24. And, um, uh, verse 20. And it says, The earth shall reel to and fro. Well, I'll start with 19. Isaiah 24 and verse 19. And it says, The earth is utterly broken down. The earth is clean dissolved. The earth is moved exceedingly. And how is, an earth, and how is it going to be clean dissolved? All right, by by that fire, man, of that nuclear destruction. All right, and it says the earth shall reel to and fro like a drunkard, and shall be removed like a cottage, and the transgression thereof shall be heavy upon it. All right, and how and when you think of a drunkard, you know, reeling to and fro, you know, what do what do you think about? You see a man staggering, not being able to walk, or, or better yet, you see a woman in high heels. Drunk as shit, all right. She can barely walk, okay. And she so so drunk that she can keep her balance. And then before you know it, she boom falls to the ground. And that's gonna be this place, America. This whore. That's how you have by Shmuel Shai is gonna do America. It's gonna send missiles onto this place, all right, and have it uh be real to and fro like a drunkard, all right, and and be thrown down, all right. And it says. And they shall fall and not rise again. And what's that uh, referring to? That's referring to uh, this this uh, kingdom. Okay. Uh, uh, that's talking about um, Esau society. Okay. America. It shall fall and not rise again. Okay. Because you have the. Uh, 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 you have the prophets. All right. Of Yahweh by Shmuel Shai. Spiritually taking this place down by through the word. Okay. But soon it's gonna be down taking spiritually, uh, it's like uh, physically, all right, uh, by Yahweh by Shmuel Shai, by the way of those missiles, okay. That's that's the uh, the indignation of the Lord, man, all right. And when and once that happens, all matter of wickedness shall cease, all right. And with that being said, I want to say, call her long and la Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Raka Kodash. Double honors to my elder apostles of G Miss that do very well. Starting off with the Pastor, starting off with the Pastor and down. The true men of Yahweh by Shmuel Shai that's been pushing his word for 30 plus years and still pushing still to this very day. And that's sincere shall have to you, Aki, out there that's pushing his truth through the spirit, through the power, and through the name of Yahweh by Shmuel Shai. Blessings be unto you and all of your households.
That being said, until until next lesson, shalom.